it could be you know it could be something like don't eat food in your bed because it, things drop in we'll there we'll eat it anyway so i want that one you know just can you come and have some family time on the dining table instead of always eating in your rooms you know i want it. that that sort of space no no at the end if i if i insist then they will come out and they will That's say because we feel bad table. not because we feel compelled to same thing you feel no, no, compelled no, no. to because you feel no, bad no no, no 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 we don't feel like we have to or there be consequences we feel bad and so we do because they take all the no no that she comes she does a face and she's like come on kiddos let's have dinner together we're like no mama i want to watch grace and ask me please i've been waiting on this episode for a long time she's like fine then okay and she go outside then she come in again and pretend like she wants to take something or that is not she come in and state something that she's done for us recently she's like By the way, I went and got you the Caesar salad that you really liked. I'll be like, fine, okay, I'll eat with you on the table. Go hard. You don't need to emotionally torture me. And then I go and I eat with her. But yeah, so we argue about we argue about everything. We argue about the fact that she doesn't tell me anything because I would just love to know because I was the kind of child that grew up telling my mother everything. I grew no, up no, telling no, my mom about. I mean, I was just so open about my life. No, I tell you why. She is so no, no, close. No, no. Give me a chance to explain myself, okay? No, give me a chance to explain myself. So, you tell her something, and she'd be like, okay. So, everyone knows that you don't take someone to meet the parents before you've been with someone for a certain amount of time. You can't. It's weird, especially nowadays. You can't just say, oh yeah, my mom wants to meet you, so you have to come home now. No, it's weird and it scares people off. No, but my point no, is this. No, my point is to come down as friends. Come now. Bring them as friends. Just come hang out. Come and sit in the hall. And hang out in the hall. When I say come and sit and hang out in the hall and have some pizzas or whatever, she's like, who hangs, hangs out in the hall? I'm sorry, who hangs out in the hall? So I'm like, fine, you can go be in the bedroom, but then keep the doors open. You know? No, no, no. And you never said that. You never said that. You said in the hall. But you always shut your door. You and you. I can't do anything without saying shut the door, shut the door. What's well, another big issue? Shut the door. Why should the door be shut? Okay, don't you think you know, it should be? No, I think it should be a law. It's a sensible law. Knock before you enter some place. Like just knock. It it doesn't kill someone. Forty times a day, the same door. Yeah, you know, no, but... it's it's common courtesy. You <laughs> knock the door and then you go inside. I do it when I go to her room. I expect the same. So because it's... my door is never locked unless I'm having a bath. But Other it's not open. locked. It's just shut. And that but that's what I'm saying. My door is never shut until the time I'm having a bath. Or you know, or so something. Why is my door locked at that point? Of... When no door is shut. When I'm talking about shut. Your door is always shut. No, my door is never always okay, shut. Just, Only when I go in to then no. say good night and go to sleep. I think I'm never in my room. Okay, can we not argue right now? Also, See, we started arguing again.